Hello, and welcome back to Zian Ursa's Pokemon Black 2 version Ursalok. Wow, that is quite the mouthful. Um, last time we left off, uh, it was the very first episode, not much went on. Got our starter, it's Bubbles, the Swana, level 7. Went up two levels just defeating a single Pokemon, our rival's Weavile. And we did get healed shortly after the battle, which uh, I couldn't control that, so no tokens will be lost. And speaking of tokens, uh, I am starting with five for this challenge. And I just explained what uh, the tokens do and what an Ursalock entails in the previous video, and it should also be included in the description below. So if you are unsure of what those rules are, then go ahead and give that a look, and you'll be caught up with what all is going on. So, back on track. Not much was going on, so I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible, because it was first episode, it's always like, pick my starter, but I just sort of chose a starter and now I have Pokeball so technically the challenge has begun and here we go out the doors we should have yes we're talking with Bianca here her and her super deep voice oh nice to meet you you must be Bianca right and Zian picked Oshawott then yeah, right, Mom. Hee <laughs> hee, looking good. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take these. They're running shoes. Woo. Now I can run places. A perfect fit. Oh no, I should switch over her accent in the middle of talking. I'll read the instructions to you. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Put on the running shoes and race around to your heart's content. Now, you and Oshawott can run anywhere you want. Um, this is for me. A pal pad, right? Oh, town map. Who am I? I'm just guessing randomly. I put the town map away. Uh-oh. No, just... Why are there two town maps? I want you to give the other one to my big brother. She sounds kind of like Juniper. I apologize. That's a good idea, even if it is a single road to the ocean. Having a town map is always nice. I mean, if you use a town map, you'll know all about what the Unova region is like. Oh, guys. Just watching this makes me happy. Come on, we're headed for Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Alright. Here we go. Bianca's gonna teach us how to- oh. Bon voyage! Take Oshawott and go see many different Pokemon and people with y your own eyes. Off I go! Alright, anyway, now that I've left, I don't have to pretend like I'm having fun. Oh, hello. Hey, Zian. Can't go out without... Oh? What kind of accent should this person actually have? What kind of voice? I mean, it's so uncommon. I don't think they need a voice. I think it's fine. I... Yeah, it's fine. You're with Swana. Okay, this is a going away gift. Don't be shy. Take it. Potion. I think... Is it just one? Or do I have five? If Pokemon get hurt, take it easy and go to a Pokemon Center. How many do I have? One. We're gonna have to stock up on those... Right now. Uh... Slight delay. It's my fault. I apologize. But can never be too safe. Hello, welcome. May I help you? Uh, I probably shouldn't bother reading these guys. Um, ten Pokeballs is pretty good to start. So wait. Not much is going to be 
dishing out a lot of damage to Suana unless we run it to an electric type. In which case, everything is going to go downhill really quickly. But if I have the opportunity to, I probably will run away. Just putting that out there right now. Route 19. Alright. Hey! This way! This kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. Okay, here's how it works. The Pokédex's pages fill up automatically when you meet Pokémon. And when you catch a Pokémon, more detailed information on it is added to the Pokédex. Here, I'll show you how to catch a Pokémon. Starting now! Uh, RKO out of nowhere. Wait, that's John Cena. Alright, she's gonna teach us how to catch a Pokémon. Well, the fuck is strong. Putting that out there, Lillipop is, yeah, Lillipop is strong. Or Porlorm's just really frail. Or both. Maybe Lillipop's strong, but Porlorm is frail. Commentating on another person's battle is, uh... Meh. Whoa! Oh, no, never mind, here we go. Alright, is she gonna catch it? She tossed a Pokeball, he was at... It looks like it's at maybe 8%. <gasps> she caught it! Who would have guessed that Bianca would catch a Purloin level 2 in this preloaded battle? What a relief! I caught a Pokemon! Oh, um, right. I'll go over the important stuff. First, go find a healthy Pokemon to catch. You need to remember this next bit. It's best to lower the Pokemon's HP before you try to catch it. Use your Pokemon's moves to lower the HP of the Pokemon you want to catch. Making it fall asleep or paralyzing it will make it even easier to catch. You're going to deliver the town map to your friend, right? This voice is very difficult to like, do consistently. Continue straight this way to get to Flocacy. Bye now. Meet lots of Pokemon, catch a lot of them, okay? Alright. Route 19. 10 Pokeballs, 8 potions, first encounter, we're able to catch. And it is. Pseudo Widow. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 I can deal. Pseudo Widow. Water Gun will KO, and I know this for a fact. As in, I'm completely guessing, but I'm pretty sure this will deal. Okay. Uh, bubbles, you dodgy jammer, you. Bubbles. Hmm. Uh. So, either wing attack, risk the crit, and it faints, or just. But that's like the easy, that's like this. Mm. It's my best bet of getting it to an HP that it's like more doable to catch, but at the same time, it's also kind of risky because I might KO it, but I'm gonna just do it because YOLO, and that's a phrase I never thought I'd hear myself saying. And it's not a crit. Nice, low kick. That's gonna deal two damage. Oh, one. Okay, never mind. Crit. Oh, snap. They're going for those RNG, uh, that super damage. Pokeball, Route 19, Sinnoh Widow, you are mine. Let's go, come on, come on. What? Ah, uh, seriously? And that's gonna deal a lot. And by a lot, I mean three damage. Uh, please, Sinnoh Widow, please. Need a little more coverage and something that could potentially tank electric types. All right, there we go. Speak of the devil, pseudo widow. Play on words. Pseudo, as in fake, or almost, or kind of, and then widow, wood, fake wood. Yeah, imitation. There we go. 
To avoid being attacked, it does nothing but mimic a tree. It hates water and flees from rain. Wow, Sudo Widow. You would. You would. Oh. You Sudo Widow. Um. What are we gonna call you? something fake. Alright, Minaj, here we go. Let's check Minaj out while we have the chance. To all you Nicki Minaj fans, sorry. But not sorry. Another lax nature, which means boosted defense, lowered special defense, often dozes off. Wow. If you get hypnotized, I'll be very upset. Um, let's see. Alright, alright. Sturdy. Nice. Very good defense as expected. Copycat, flail, low kick, and rock throw. I believe the way it works is I can, since this is a freshly caught Pokemon, I do not go into, I do not heal at Nurse Joy's station. Instead, I simply put Pseudo Widow in the box and then withdraw him. And then he will be healed. So, all freshly caught Pokemon. If they're going straight into the party and they don't go straight to the box, do get a free heal this way, but this is the only exception to the normal uh, rule of the healing. Alright, level 2 Sudo Widow. Just make sure it's healed, and it, he is. Looking good. Just wanted to get that heal out of the way. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm leveled for all of what's about to come. Oh my goodness, and I just remembered. Items are randomized too, it's not just Pokemon. So if I can't find any Ethers, uh, I better just hope I can get a Pokemon with pickup. What else is here? Take this opportunity to check out what else. Tauros, okay. Level 3. That would have been nice. Can't deny, but it might have also been really hard to catch. Do I want to attack this thing? Is the real question. Uh, for the time being, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna check out what else is here. Decide if this is a good spot to train Sidowoodo a bit. Luminion. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of glad I got Sudo Widow instead of you. Again, another Pokemon that would have been decent, but so far, Flame Plate. Okay. Starting to look like Arceus is on the horizon. Most likely not. Luminion again. Get tired of all these fish. Okay. 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 I see how this is gonna go. See what's gonna happen? Watch, 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 watch. Now that I've run into those. Now, I'm going to run into a Tauros, and he'll probably only know Tackle, and it's Infernape, and this is scary. Uh. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, we're switching right now, because you probably have Mach Punch. Maybe. 
leer. Big pecs, all up in your face. You can't touch this with your defense dropping junk. You have higher attack than special attack. So let's go wing attack. And one shot. Nice. I would not have been able to easily capture that if that had been my encounter. Minaj is level 3. Minaj is level 4. <gasps> Minaj is level 5. Will Minaj ever st- Oh, Minaj stopped. That's a bummer. Okay, Minaj. Okay. Looking good. Um, I think that's fine for now. Oh gosh, um, Alder. It's gonna be Alder. What will Alder sound like? There, you tra you there, trainer. Yeah, you. My name is Older. I'm a trainer with keen interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is to walk toward the future together with Pokemon. In case you're wondering, this isn't like a specific race, it's just like a specific style of talking. I'm not trying to mimic or sound like any specific person. You are? Dot dot dot. Dud dud dud. Hmph. So you're Zian. I was starting to sound like a combination of a... Uh, Hugh. Ursus. And... Oh, whatever this guy is. So you're Zian from Aspersia Town. Aspersia City. Let me check you out, man. Your Sudo Wudo is a fine looking Pokemon. Oh, you weren't even checking me out. You were checking out my fake tree, Minaj. Wow. But you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Pass the oregano. Indeed, I'll train you a little. Follow me. Whatever you say, man. Flockacy Town. Uh, um, hmm. Let me check to make sure I can get antidotes and other items. Nope, potions it is. Wait, I didn't even check over here. What am I doing? Bye. Exactly what I was looking for. I'll buy those later when they'll come in more handy. Alright, what's I gonna say? Oh, that's right. Zian, you are your Pokemon well? Your Pokemon are always doing their best for you, the trainer, so you must always be kind to them. My house is just a little farther. Stop by the Pokemon Center first if you like. Nah. I don't have the tokens for that. And I still have a pretty decent amount of HP and PP. Eh, this way. Shall we start training? By the way, why are you holding two town maps? Who just holds the maps in their hands instead of putting them in that bag? Let's literally hanging over your shoulder that we can see right here. Dot dot dot. Oh ho! It's your friend's town map, is it? Your friend is the one with the Snivy, isn't he? It just so happens he was training his Pokemon in Raj Ronte. Well, if that's the case, you should go give him the town map first. Just follow this road. It goes to Route 20. Alright. Off we go. Ugh. Goodness, this is mm, okay. Are there any items? Items, items, items. There's probably a hidden item. Is there a hidden item? I don't know this game well enough. Uh, my goodness. Anyway, there's an item right there. Um, I guess shall we? Have a normal type. Have a normal type Pokemon, please. You can tell. Oh wait, it's a new, it's a new person. It's a youngster, and we run into youngsters all the time in this game, just as we will in every game. We've been around since Gen One. Youngster, youngster, youngster. Hey, you can tell how much your opponent wants to fight by looking into his or her eyes, don't you think? He might not actually be a youngster, though. Let's check. 
Challenged by Biker Thomas. Tynamo. I am glad I picked up something that can kind of take electric type moves. This thing does not have static. It has levitate. Alright. Rock throw, menage, thunder wave, of course. And I can't buy paralyzed heals. How unfortunate. Rock throw. Please deal at least half. Oh, or just, yep, that works too. Crits for days. Let's just hope that doesn't happen to you, Minaj. Hey, okay. Ah, but the paralyzed is very unfortunate. Any, nope, no items. And... Another trainer. Alright. I believe in Pseudo Widow. Hey, oh. Another person, it's the last. Hold up. Gotta think of a voice. Can't do a uh, super deep. That's Bianca, and that kind of hurts my vocal cords. Mickey Mouse, or the very bad Mickey Mouse, is Juniper. Super high pitched squeak is the little sister, or just any little kid. Um, last will be. I guess they're gonna have like a little bit of a southern twang to it. Fisher Bob. Alright, Fisher Bob. Masquerade, alright. Breakthrough. One. Paralyze. Wait. This thing probably has bubble. I'm gonna take the safe route and actually switch. Because I don't want to start using my potions too early on. Sweet scent. Alright, that's fine. Ask your rain. Hold this wing attack. And there we go. As expected of bubbles. Tougher than you look. Those big pecs. Now ours is level 6, and that defense though. Oh uh, shoot, I already forgot the voice kind of. My purloin! My purloin! Whatever. I'll get it eventually. What is this? Paralyzed? Nope, stone pl- Yep, Arceus, here we come. Um, okay. 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 Wait! I just remembered. This is a new route. Shoot, I messed up. There we go. Okay. New encounter. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. And... Shift tree. That means it will literally learn no moves. But it is my first encounter. That's gonna deal an okay amount. Or not. Water gun. I cannot risk anymore. You are normally uncatchable, so your catch rate should be around a starter Pokemon's catch rate? Question mark. Uh, dang it. Nasty plot. Oh, okay. Seems fair. Uh, yeah, no. You're getting in this ball right now. Razor Leaf is physical, so nasty plot won't affect that at all. Oh, okay. Okay. Faint attack. That's also physical. Oh, my goodness. Uh,. Even though crit razor leaf would not KO, I'm just gonna take the safe option. Faint attack again? Who are you? Who do you think you are, Shift Tree? Just waving those fans all around your face. 
You're getting in this ball this time. You're doing it. Yeah. Here we go. Shiftry was caught. Shiftry's data was added to the Pokedex. By flapping its leafy fan. Oh. Go. Yep. By flapping its leafy fan. It can whip up gusts of 100 feet per second that can level houses. Alright. Hmm. Okay. So. Something that fans. Um. I mean, it's not the most female sounding name, but uh, they have interesting fans. So, Dyson. Definitely sounds like a male name, but maybe that's just my imagination. Check out Shift Tree real quick while I'm heading back. Shift Tree, hardy nature, which means no stat changes uh, to the based on nature. Often dozes off as well. Grass dark. Whirlwind? Oh my goodness, that would have been such terrible luck if it had used that. Early bird ability, faint attack, whirlwind, nasty plot, and brace relief. Um, nasty plot is currently kind of useless without any special moves, but I'm pretty sure since it's a stone evo Pokemon, then it will not learn any moves. Speaking of evolu evolutions, I haven't actually like caught any Pokemon yet. No! I just flubbed so hard. I just flubbed. That was, well, that's a token. I, I, this is what happens. This is what happens when you just take your mind off the game. Well, that was the biggest flub of 2016 so far. I just wasted a token. I just wasted a token. I'm so mad with myself right now. I'm so upset. So you get into, like, a way of thinking where as soon as you go back to the Pokemon Center, you think, oh, I have to heal immediately. Because that's why else would you be at the Pokemon Center, you know? And so using, like, sticking to that mindset, I just, just sort of walked in there and just so happened, what do you know? <sighs> I'm so upset. I'm extremely upset. What did I choose for this guy's accent again? Feel this boiling spirit! My pat rats is gonna amaze you! Alright, kid. I'm not feeling it right now. Biker Kristen. Rapidash. Awesome. So I can switch into either Menage or Bubbles. And Menage can resist everything, Bubbles would not resist any normal type moves. But I think Menage I think Menage can handle this. Even if he uses Ember, resisted. But Dyson's definitely not staying in there, because grass, it's, it's a very... Okay, quick deck, yeah, we're... Yeah, one damage. Get on our level, Rapidash. Rock throw. You're going down. Growl? Oh, well, I might go down two hits now. If I have estimated. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, yeah. Rock throw, Gren. Rock throw again? A Gren? Yeah. Don't burn. Don't, okay, okay. Notice status, afflictions, and weak Gucci. I should never ever use that word ever again to describe a mood or describe a state of being. Menage is level 7. Dyson is probably going to be level 5, I want to say. 5? Level 6? Wow, okay, Dyson. Okay. Oh, this wilting spirit, it wasn't supposed to end this way. <sighs> I didn't say it in its accent. I'm still super upset about the whole wasting a token. There's a hole right there. 
metal coat. Well, at least I know it can evolve a Scyther if I catch one. Or an Onyx into a Steelix. Or... Wait. Have I ever been this way? What is this way? Hey! Now I can evolve a... A... Mm, gloom. Yeah, Gloom. Into... Or a Sunkern. Yeah. Two totally great Pokemon. Blossom's not that bad. Oh, Flockacy. Um, yeah, I'll take on the rival in here and mm, get my encounter. Then I think I'll call it. So, encounter is going to be after this battle. I don't remember what level he has. I'm going to guess it's like level 8 or 9. He is... Okay, there he is. <clears throat> oh, nice. You've come here to toughen up. All right. Let's see how much stronger you've become. Come at me. He's gonna have two Pokemon, maybe? Or just one? One. You are challenged by Lady Ursa. Vullaby. All right. Okay, I know what we gotta do. Safest route, Menage. <sighs> Technically, because this is a rival fight, this will give me a token. I'm not proud of it, because he is gonna get two or three shot, so long as I don't miss. So long as he doesn't, like, have any buffing moves to buff him. Like, it wouldn't learn defense curl. It might learn hurt it. Um... Probably not, though. But... It will give a... token to replace the one that I lost, but that's still a sad way to win a token back. I'm still just so upset about that. Flail, it's 1 HP. It's going down no matter what. He's Flail. And it's gone. It's all gone. Menage gained 98 experience. Dyson gained 108. Dyson grew to level 7. Yay, Dyson. I, it can't be. How could I have lost? I need to apologize to my partner. Got 800. Alright. That's like 4 potions. No? No. Got 300. Not bad. You're thinking about how to bring out your Pokemon strength. I should be able to count on you for backup. What are you doing here anyway, huh? A town map? Shh. She didn't have to do that. Thanks to you, too. We just left and you're, you've already helped me out. Uh, these people. Hmm. I thought it was lively around here. You were having a Pokemon battle, huh? Isn't it nice to be young? Who are you? Who am I? I'm the owner of this ranch, and this is my wife. Howdy, after a Pokemon battle, you should heal your Pokemon's HP, right? Here, I'll give you this. And a potion. Although if you do talk to her, you do get healed, but that kind of counts like Pokemon Center rules. So, I will not. Huh. That's something I have to work out. Uh, is the are the trainers that heal you after you fight them uh, for example the nurses and the doctors if you have any idea or if you have any uh, suggestions as to what to do whenever I get to those trainers go ahead and let me know whatever is the most popular opinion on that I'll probably just go with that like whether or not I should be able to heal after going through them or fighting them because they normally are like halfway through uh, long route or like in caves and so forth it's nice to have potions when you're far away from the pokemon center true that man oh wait that's what she said but not that yeah no that that wasn't supposed to be one of those jokes by the way you didn't happen to see a herdier around here did you i can't figure out where it went 
Our two herdier are always together, and this is the first time one has wandered off, so I'm a little worried. You're a little worried? Oh, gosh dang it. I keep messing up. You're a, you're a little worried? Are you kidding me? Your Pokemon might be lost forever. Whatever. I'll help. See and help out. Alright. Why did he get so mad? I think it's probably just playing somewhere in the ranch. I wonder. By the way, dear, if your Pokemon get hurt, let me know. I'll make them feel better for you. Alright, well, I'm gonna get my encounter and then I'm going to call it for now. For this episode. Um, Bubbles has relatively weak moves. So, whatever's in here, as long as it's not electric, I should be able to handle it fairly well. Swoo bat. Hmm, okay. I mean that's that's a good Pokemon. I'm not gonna dispute the fact that Swoo Bat's pretty good. However, that's more added on to my electric weakness, which is only two Pokemon technically. But it's still I need like a ground type or something. Alright, I can't hurt you anymore without KOing you, so please get in this Pokeball. Two, three, yeah! Alright, first go. Here we come, Gym Badge, eventually. Swoobat. The courting Pokemon is a psychic and flying type. It shakes its tail vigorously when it emits an ultrasonic wave strong enough to reduce concrete to rubble. That is power. Give a nickname to Swoobat. Um... What do I call you? Um... Um, I mean you have, mm, it's gonna be a really bad nickname, but, like instead of Neuvern, it's not Vern, because it has the same shape that Neuvern has, with the heart and the sound and the, but it's not Neuvern, it's not Vern, it's, okay, I'm done, I'm sorry. Check out Not Vern over here. And that is a pretty decent moveset to start. Confusion, Gust, and Assurance. Alright, and with that, I am going to call it for this episode. As always, Thank you again for watching. Uh, I always appreciate any support. I hope I can continue making content. Uh, I hope I can keep making stuff that you enjoy, and I hope I can keep making content that you enjoy. It all sounds extremely redundant, but uh, that's just me, Z and Ursa. All right, thanks again. Bye.